In either shallow water or deep water, passive and active victims of drowning may sometimes sink below the surface and remain there. If a victim is submerged, your objective is to quickly and effectively make contact with them and bring them to the surface, supporting them on the rescue tube while maintaining an open airway. In shallow water, approach a passive submerged victim by quickly swimming or walking to their side. In shallow water, it may be quicker or easier to walk to the victim. With the straps still around your shoulder, let go of the rescue tube. Face the same direction as the victim. Reach down and grab the victim under the armpits, submerging yourself underwater if necessary. Pick the victim up while moving forward, rolling them over so that their face is out of the water. Position the rescue tube under the victim's shoulders so that their head falls back naturally, opening their airway. Move the victim to an exit point and extricate them from the water. Then, assess the victim's condition and provide appropriate care. In a deep water emergency, use a surface dive to quickly reach the depth necessary to access the submerged victim. There are two types of surface dives, the feet-first surface dive and the head-first surface dive. As a lifeguard, you must be able to perform both. To perform a feet-first surface dive, first swim to a point at the surface of the water near where the victim is submerged. Keeping the strap around your shoulders, release the rescue tube. Position your body vertically in water. Push your hands down to your sides while you kick strongly, raising your body out of the water. Take a breath before letting your head and body sink beneath the surface. Force your body downward by sweeping your arms upward above your head, palms up. Keep your legs straight and together with your toes pointed. Tuck your chin to look towards the bottom. If you need to go deeper to reach the victim, bring your arms down alongside your body and repeat the upward sweeping motion of your arms. As with the feet-first surface dive, to perform a head-first surface dive, first swim to a point at the surface of the water near where the victim is submerged. Keeping the strap around your shoulders, release the rescue tube if necessary. Build your momentum with a swimming stroke and take a deep breath. Bring both arms along your thighs, tuck your chin, and bend at the hips as you reach downward through the water. Lift your legs straight and together out of the water. You should be fully extended, streamlined, and nearly vertical as the weight of your legs above the water drives you downward. To go deeper, do a simultaneous pull with both arms as many times as necessary until you reach the victim. To rescue an active or passive drowning victim submerged in deep water, first, Perform a feet-first surface dive, positioning yourself directly behind the victim with your chest to their back. Reach one of your arms under their arm and across their chest, firmly holding on to the victim's opposite side. Once you have hold of the victim, reach up with your free hand and grasp the toe line. Pull it down and feed the line to the hand of the arm that is holding the victim. As you approach the surface, Grasp and position the rescue tube so it's placed on the victim's back, below their shoulders. As you surface, ensure that the victim is positioned on the rescue tube and that their head is back and in an open airway position. Reach one arm over the victim's shoulder and grasp the rescue tube. Then, use the other hand to quickly tow the victim to a safe exit point. Extricate the victim from the water, assess their condition, and provide appropriate care. Alternatively, a head-first surface dive may be used when performing the submerged victim rescue. Before making contact with the victim, you must change to a feet-first position so that you are directly behind the victim. After bringing a passive victim to the surface, extricate them from the water. You'll learn about extrication techniques in the next video. After you have brought a victim to the surface, sometimes the easiest and fastest way to extricate them from the water is to use a backboard. 